Let's solve some problems here. Which number comes next in the following series, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21? So in this series here, um, the common difference is 3. Kay, we just have to subtract the latter and the former numbers. So that is 12 minus 9, 15 minus 12, 18 minus 15, 21 minus 18. Since the common difference is 3, we can just add 3 to 21 to get the next number. So that is 21 plus 3. Okay, 21 plus 3. Then the next number should be 24. Therefore, the answer here is letter C, 24. One half divided by 0 0.05. So let's write that one half divided by 0 0.005 and we can write 0 0.05 as 5 over 100. So this is one half over 5 over 100 and then we can change the sign and then flip the denominator. So this is one half times 100 over 5. 100 is divisible by 2 so this is just 50 then we are left with 50 over 5. And now 50 divided by 5 is just equal to 10. So the answer here is letter C. A pie is cut so that one piece, which is one quarter of the pie, is twice as large as each of the other pieces. Into how many pieces is the pie cut? So we're given here the information that um, one pie is cut, that one piece is one quarter, is one fourth, and the rest of the other pieces is as twice as large as each other. So since we don't know the number of pieces, um, that the rest of the pie is cut into, so we can let x be the number of the rest of the pieces the pie is cut into. So let's say this is our pie here, and one piece is cut into one fourth, and the rest of um, the pie is just twice as large as each other, each of the other pieces. So we can say that um, this one here is one eight times the number of pieces here that it is cut. So we know that the entire um, fraction for the ho uh, whole pie is equal to one. So we can just add them up to solve for n. So this is one fourth plus one eight. So this is one fourth plus one eight x equals one. Then we can solve for x. One minus one fourth. So this is one eight x equals three fourth divided by one eight. Okay. So x is just three fourth times eight over one. So this is 24 over 4, therefore x is equal to 6. Therefore the, the rest portion here, this one, is cut into 6 pieces. And we have one piece here, therefore the whole pie is cut into 7 pieces. So that would be 6 plus this portion here. 1 is just 7. So the answer here is 7, letter C. So we have 6 pieces that are cut into 1 8 each, and then 1 piece which is cut into 1 fourth. How many soldiers are there in a group of 27 sailors? And soldiers, if there are 4 fifths, as many sailors as soldiers. So we let x 
6 be the number of soldiers Here, and it says here that there are four fifths as many sailors as soldiers. So the number of sailors is just equal to four fifths um, of the number of the soldiers. And the total in all is 27. So we can just add them up. The number of soldiers plus the number of sailors, which is four fifth of the soldiers, is just equal to 27. And now we can solve for the number of soldiers. So that is 1 plus 4 fifth. This is 5 plus 4x equals 27. nine over five x equals twenty seven and then we divide both sides by nine over five for x is just equal to twenty seven times five over nine and then twenty seven is divisible by nine this is just three therefore x is equal to fifteen therefore the number of soldiers in a group of twenty seven is equal to fifteen therefore the answer here is letter B. It was 310 by Smith's watch when he left home to go to the post office. While at the post office, he corrected his watch by setting it forward from 335 to 344. It was 404 by his watch when he returned home. How many minutes was he away? So there are two ways to solve this. We can subtract um, 310 from when he left home and 404 when he returned home and then subtract um, whatever he corrected here, the minutes he corrected when he was at the post office. Or we can just solve for the time lapse from 310 to 335 and then add that one to the minutes he, he had from 344 to 404 when he returned home. So let's do that. So from 310 to 310 to 4 04 so that is 404 minus 310 how many minutes there so there are 54 minutes from 310 to 404 and then 335 to 344 how many minutes here so that is nine minutes. So we can subtract the amount of uh, time here from 310 to 404 by which the uh, by the amount of time he corrected his watch when he was at the post office, which is nine minutes. So that would be 54 minutes minus nine minutes which is just equal to 45 minutes so he was away for 45 minutes so another way is we get the amount of time from when he left home uh, 310 to um, the time he arrived at the post office which is 335 so that is 335 So that is 25 minutes and then from 344 to 404 so 404 minus 3.44 so the amount of time between 4 uh, 344 and 404 is 20 minutes 
then we can add them up 25 minutes plus 20 minutes is equal to 45 minutes so we get the same answer here therefore the answer is letter a